Man, oh man, oh man. AEW, their fans, they are the worst fan base ever in professional wrestling. They are just the worst human beings. They are what's bad in professional wrestling. Like, oh my God, it's like, they need mental help. They need to seek a psychiatrist. And I'm not even trying to be funny. They need to seek a psychiatrist. What's wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Are you sick? You you fans are just sickos, man. Oh my like that pay-per-view all out was extremely overrated. They should have called it WWE All Out. They should have called it Vince McMahon's WWE All Out. They should have called it Vince McMahon's guys he didn't want All Out. They should have called it Vince McMahon's rejects that he didn't want that couldn't draw shit all out. They should have called it main roster flops all out. <laughs> I can go on and on with this shit. It's pathetic. How, why? My God. That whole card was was wrestlers that Fitz McMahon didn't want <laughs> Christian fucking Cage let's use him as, as an example Vince McMahon didn't reach his demands Vince McMahon look Christian Cage wanted to be a top guy like Edge Vince McMahon didn't, didn't really see it he wanted Christian to be Edge's sidekick because that's what he is. Christian Cage is not an alpha. He's a sidekick. He will forever be in Edge's shadow. Okay? He will forever be Marty Janetti. What part of that don't you understand? Look, I like Christian, but just chill out. I mean, people are hyping up Miro, another guy that Vince McMahon didn't give two shits about. Why should I care about him now? You didn't care about him in his last company. Why are you caring about him now? Let's get to Buddy Murphy. Buddy Murphy was jobbing out to Cesaro. This dude was kissing on Rey Mysterio's daughter. He was in awful storylines. He was in catering for a whole year. He, he had no direction. Seth, Seth Rollins washed his hands of him. His character was dead. He has, he, he has no charisma. He can't cut a promo. He has no character. And now, all of a sudden, people are trying to hype him up that he's going to, that he's going to AEW. Who gives a fuck? This is the problem. Why is that a wrestler in the WWE who's in catering that doesn't get no TV time. That when you watch Raw SmackDown, you gonna give two shits about him. Now all of a sudden he's released. Now people are wondering, hmm, what company is he going to sign with? So for some reason, you you AW fanboys hype hype up the fucking name to the point where he's a high free agent. How, bruh? He had tons of opportunities in a WWE to get over, and he and he did. He was paired up with Seth fucking Rollins, who was a top guy. Buddy Murphy still couldn't get over. They they tried. You can't say they didn't try with Buddy Murphy. They tried. They fucking tried. They took him away off, off 205 Live and they put him with Seth Rollins. They, they tried to get him over and he couldn't get over. Now, all of a sudden, he goes to AW. Now, he's a star. 
You care about him now? Why is that? I swear to God, if Dolph Ziggler got released, you fucking idiots would treat him like he's the rock if he went to AEW. I swear to God. You don't, you don't care about Dolph now, right? Even though he's on TV every fucking week. But if he went to, if he went to AEW, you guys would treat him like he's fucking royalty. That's a agenda. That's called a WWE hateful agenda. When a guy is a jobber and he goes to AEW, you guys treat you guys treat him like he was always a fucking star. I mean, you you guys thought fucking Zack Ryder was going to be a star in AEW. You guys thought Ty Dillinger was going to be a star in AEW. Who gives a fuck? Adam Cole is now all elite. I don't give a fuck. You guys didn't watch him in, in fucking NXT. This guy was drawing 600k a week in, in, in NXT. And now all of a sudden he's a game changer. You guys wasn't watching his fucking ass in NXT. He's the reason NXT is dead. Adam Coleslaw is the reason NXT is dead. He killed it. He was the face of it. How come how come NXT didn't get bigger, bigger, bigger? How come they were getting the ass whooped by AEW every week on, on fucking Wednesday? He was the top guy. The brand was built around Adam Cole. How come he wasn't drawing shit? Now all of a sudden he's gonna draw something in fucking AEW? Why do you why do you care? Now you now you care? You wasn't watching him in fucking NXT. He was the reason why NXT was fucking boring. Why do you, why do you care? Bruh, when he came out on All Out, it felt like he was always in AEW. <laughs> That's how ordinary he fucking looked walking down the ramp. It felt like he was always in AEW. He didn't feel new. Like, who gives a f This dude is best friends with the, with the VPs of the company. Bruh, he's he's gonna be like everybody else within two weeks. Actually, once Brian Danielson came out, Adam Cole felt like everybody else. His his debut was overshadowed. He felt like everybody else. That main event felt like I was watching Ring of Honor. That main event ending felt like I was watching Ring of Honor back in 26 fucking teen. That's what I was watching. That was Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor wasn't drawing shit with Adam Cole and the fucking Young Bucks. So why would they draw something now? Bruh, Adam Cole is going to be like he was back in 2016 in our age. He's going to be a comedy act with the elite. He's going to be a comedy skits with the elite. He would not be booked better in all elite wrestling like he was in, in, in NXT. In NXT, he was booked like a serious guy. Now that he's with the Young Bucks, he's going to be looked at as a fucking joke. He's going to be looked at as the guy from being the elite YouTube channel. He's going to be in he's going to be in a lot of comedy skits back backstage. Bro, this guy's not going to be a star. We are going to forget that he debuted within two weeks. People are saying, oh, Bray Wyatt's next. Okay, yeah, so where's it? Where's it? Where is he going to go on the on the fucking card in AEW? My God, I'm 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 I have to make this video. Nobody else is trying to make this kind of a video. I have to I have to make it. 
I gotta get this off, off my chest, man. This is crazy. Bray Wyatt will not move the needle. Don't you know AEW is turning into TNA? If not worse. If not worse. At least TNA had big names that were huge names that were wrestling for the millions and millions of people in a hot era, in the Attitude Era. At least they had former top guys that used to move the needle during the Attitude Era and the Ruthless Aggression Era. At least. But the point, point I'm trying to make is, bro, that card, those, that match card on All Out, all I saw was a bunch of ex WWE guys that Vince McMahon did want that was going over. Ruby Riot won. CM Punk won. Big Show won. Christian Cage was in the fucking main event. Miro won. All I saw was a bunch of WWE guys, man, winning matches. Sounds like TNA to me. So now Buddy Buddy Murphy's coming in, right? Now Bray Wyatt might come in. When will this end? How many ex guys from the WWE are you are you going to sign? I understand everybody has to work, but everybody don't got to work work for the same f- company. Everybody doesn't have to work for the same company. Eventually, that roster is going to be fucking bloated. You guys are, you fanboys are hypocrites. You guys trash the WWE for signing all these indie guys. What was y'all saying? Y'all were saying, oh, they are signing all these guys so they won't sign any, anywhere else. Okay, now they are finally waking up. Now they are actually getting rid of those guys that are useless, that that ain't going to move the fucking needle. And now... AW is falling into that trap, signing any top guy that used to be a top guy in the WWE. But it's going to backfire. Dan Bryan wasn't a fucking he, he wasn't moving a needle. CM Punk wasn't wasn't moving a fucking needle. Look, it's crazy, man. AEW has four former NXT champions. They got Neville, Andrade. Alistair Black and now Adam Cole that's crazy that's that's insane that's sad actually but the point I'm trying to make is look man you AEW you AEW fans need to listen, listen to this you can't keep hyping up every released talent from the WWE and saying come to AEW. Why? Everybody can't be a top guy at once. Eventually, these guys are going to be in, in, in catering. These guys are going to be in catering. You can't sign all these guys and expecting they're going to get booked strong. Andrade, Andrade hasn't, hasn't done shit. Neville hasn't done shit. Come on, man. Adam Cole ain't gonna do shit. Over, I'm like, these shills on Twitter saying, oh, Vince, man, he is sweating in his boots. Why? AEW is signing guys that he didn't want, that he released. Why? He actually joked around saying, hmm, maybe uh, I might give them some more guys. So... On what planet is Vince McMahon sweating in his boots if he's if he's making jokes saying, hmm, maybe I might give them some more talent? <laughs> you, are, are you guys mental? Are you like I said, man, the AEW fans are the worst in the history of wrestling. They are just brain dead losers, versions, gets no pussy. Living in a wrestling bubble. 
All I'm seeing, all I saw tonight was X WWE guys every other two matches. <laughs> My God, everybody from the WWE went over tonight. All except Christian, all except Christian Cage, but in hindsight, he was in the fucking main event. And one other thing. I saw a lot of WWE talent not putting over guys in tonight's pay-per-view. But hey, when when Goldberg does it, he's he's called Oldberg. Huh? See, it's, it's, it's just it's the hypocrisy of AW fans that are just the worst, man. You guys are the fucking worst human beings. Like, it's fucking pathetic. You got more guys from WWE that y'all trying to sign now? Why? You can't keep signing everybody. You're going to face the same problems as Vince McMahon did. That's why he cut everybody. You know why he's cutting everybody? Because he's finally realizing AEW ain't, ain't shit. So, hey, yeah. You can have Braun Strowman. Your ass can have Daniel Bryan. You think you think Vince McMahon cares that Daniel Bryan left? He didn't care. Daniel Bryan had nothing else to prove. Daniel Bryan was a dead horse. He had nothing else to prove, so him leaving was pretty much justified. Vince didn't care. He has Roman Reigns, man. He don't care about Dale Bryan. The Yes movement is dead. Move on. And that's what he did. But point I'm trying to make is, man, Adam Cole felt like another guy. He felt like another guy, man. When I seen him with the elite, he 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 looked like another guy. He didn't feel like a star. Brian Danielson overshadowed him. You can't keep signing all these guys from the from the old company. You can't keep doing that. I'm, I'm hearing, oh, this is a game changer. How's it a game changer, man? They can't even get 1.4 with CM Punk. So Adam Cole is going to move the needle. How come Adam Cole didn't didn't move shit in in in, in NXT? He's the reason. He's the reason that it's dead. Adam Cole is the reason why NXT got rebranded. Okay, because Vince McMahon don't want any fucking vanilla midgets overstaying their welcome in a developmental brand. And of course, Adam Cole was the reason why NXT failed against AEW. And guess what? Now he's in AEW. Why? Because he's kind of a failure. But that's another story. The point is... So much propaganda, man. Now y'all think Buddy Murphy is a star? <laughs> like, what? What? Now, all of a sudden, Ruby Riot is a star. This chick was a jobber on SmackDown. Okay, she might make some noise in AW. Okay, good, good, good for her. But you can't keep treating every ex WWE talent like they are big shit. Because how come you ain't treat them like that when they was in their last company? Get the fuck out of here. I'm done.